Hey guys, I'm Jody. And I'm Justin. And we are Board Game Perspective. And today we're taking a look at Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated. Big box game, as you can tell. Very now, big box. So this is, Renegade Games sent us this game. And let's see, it plays two to four players, 90 to 120 minutes per game, and ages 13 up, that's what the box says. So, okay. So this is in the Clank world. And if you're familiar with Clank, it is a deck building game mm -hmm. uh, where you are basically trying to get in. It's like a dungeon crawl a little bit. You're trying to get in, grab some stuff, and get out mm -hmm. before you're toast. Before the dragon gets you. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so there's a bunch of different cards. You can uh, try to get new cards that are better, better, and try to get rid of some of your older cards, your starting cards. And you're trying to get in and you're trying to get an artifact, or two, or two. and uh, you're trying to get an artifact and get out. Now, there, there's also this threshold where if you go into the dungeon and you're stuck in there and you, well not stuck, but you don't get out in time and you actually get knocked out of the game, then if you're below that line, then you get zero points. But if you're above the line, then you and you have an artifact, you can keep your points. But whoever can completely escape also gets extra points. Yes. So those are like the different different levels there. Yeah. So. So the base cards and all of these clan games come with basically just a couple main concepts. So on the cards you could have like boots, and whenever you have boots, that allows you to actually move throughout the board and into the dungeon. And then you have skill, which will let you buy things. Now, this game is a legacy game, and so your world is going to be changing. The board could change, your deck of cards could change, so there's a lot of variations as you play through this game and kind of create your own tailored-made game. Mm -hmm. It will change. <laughs> <laughs> it does change a lot. So, um, but, but, but those core mechanics of Clank are in this game for sure, but like we said, things change. So, what are your thoughts about this game? How, how did you? Uh, we we ended, we played through the whole campaign. The whole campaign. So okay. what did you think? With that, so, without giving any spoilers, of course. Of course, of course, no spoilers. Now here's my thing. I I love Clank. I love Clank, the base game. I I think it's awesome. I, I love it as a deck builder. I love the dungeon crawl, getting in, grabbing something, getting out, trying to beat the dragon. But for some reason. Doing it in Clegacy, Clank, <laughs> Clank Legacy equals Clegacy, by the way. Um, so doing it in Legacy style, for me, was way too slow. Uh, there was a lot of stop parts where you kind of had to stop and read certain things to make changes to the board and do different things like that. To me, that was just a little too slow and it stopped momentum a little too much for me. And I, I thought it was... Um, just kind of killed, killed the momentum a little bit whenever we would play. That was my opinion. There were other opinions to be had here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, obviously, if, if, you know, if you don't like some downtime of you know, doing, doing some things throughout the game, then maybe you won't like this one. I, I, I like this game. I thought it was good. Um, maybe, maybe toward like the last couple sessions, I was getting a little, okay, I, I think I'm ready to wrap it up. But I mean, I really enjoyed this game a lot. I've really had fun playing it, and uh, I didn't mind. I didn't mind those little stops, you know, for the storyline and modifications, and um, I, I enjoyed it. So. Um, yeah, I was kind of from the very beginning. As soon as I realized we were having to make all these stops to read things and change stuff and all that kind of thing, I was just like. <sighs> Okay, let's just let's keep going, and and it's just it's the nature of the game. So if you like that kind of thing, if you like how seeing how the board changes and seeing how things get affected and having and different the story things line, going on, the storyline, you know, then this like is story then this it. is absolutely for you. For me, you know, the story stuff was was less interesting to me. Yeah. Now, now I, I will say this is actually the first legacy game we've ever played. True. So. It's probably that you maybe just don't like legacy games as much. That's very, very yeah. possible, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but for being the first one ever played, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And I love Clank. We both love Clank. We both love and Clank. And so it was fun just playing more Clank in a legacy mode. Yeah. 
kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so that is our thoughts on Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, if you guys haven't tried it um, and you like Clank, and especially if you like legacy games, y'all need to try this one out. Um, if you obviously if you don't like legacy games, then you probably may not like this one because it's a legacy game. But overall, I enjoyed it. Him maybe not played, that as much. He I played. played he, he, he played uh, through it all. But um, I I had a blast. Uh, definitely check this one out um, if if it looks interesting to you. So uh, if you liked today's video, go ahead and help us out by hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. And thanks for joining us today, today guys. And we'll see you next time. See y'all.